In this video, I'm going to show you the best built-in Blender add-ons. These add-ons are free and you just need to enable them by going to Edit, then Preferences tab, then Add-ons. And you will have the list of all the built-in add-ons that comes with Blender. So now, without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations. A Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. These add-ons are really useful and they can simplify and reduce the time spent doing some things when working in Blender. Also in case you are asking the question if these add-ons are useful, why aren't they enabled by default? Well the answer for that is the more add-ons you enable, the more longer Blender takes to load. So Blender doesn't enable them all by default, but gives you the option to use the add-ons that you need. Now let's start with Extra Objects add-on. And like the name suggests, this add-on adds more objects to Blender. The add-on has two versions, one for meshes, which gives you the ability to add gears, pipes, math functions, round cubes and more. It even has a rock generator with displacement and everything. Also it has a version for curves which adds a collection of curves profiles and curve spirals. Also, also polygon curves and arc curves and many more of course. The cool thing about this add-on is that it gives you a lot of parameters to play with to make the object that you're making more interesting and shape it the way you want. Loop tools. If you're modeling in Blender edit mode, you must use loop cuts. This add-on gives you more operations working with loop cuts in Blender, like the ability to bridge loop cuts directly without having to fill all the in-between faces. There is also an option for flattening vertices based on the axis that you choose. You can also turn a selection of squared quads and turn them into a circular shape. You can also use the soft operation which help you create surfaces from multiple loops and further control the surface by changing the parameters like the number of segments and the strength. Modifier tools. Modifier tools is one of the tools that most people think that it's necessary, especially when working with a lot of modifiers. This add-on gives you the ability to apply all or delete all the modifiers with one click. Also there is viewport visibility button that makes all the modifiers hidden or visible. And also the toggle stack button which collapse or reopen all the modifiers. Dry lighting. Most 3D artists, especially the ones starting out, are going to be using a 3 points lighting setup for their models. Dry lighting creates 3 lights around your selected object with one click. The lights are all constrained to the selected object, that means that if you move them, they will be pointing to the object. Then you can adjust the strength and color of your 3 lights. The Node Wrangler add-on. Well, in case you watch some shader creation tutorials, every one of them suggests that you enable the Node Wrangler add-on. This add-on gives you a lot of shortcuts when working with nodes in Blender, so it speed up your so it speed up your workflow by a lot. Some of the shortcuts that are really helpful are Control Shift and Left Mouse Click to preview the node that you clicked on. Also, if you're having trouble picking up the right output to plug it into another node, you can click Alt and Shift and right mouse click and you can drag a line between the nodes and you will get a list of which inputs and outputs you're going to choose. You can also go to the Add-on tab under Preferences and read all the shortcuts that the add-on offers. Sapling Tree Generator this is an add-on which is a really powerful generator for creating trees in Blender. The add-on comes with a bunch of presets for different types of trees like willow tree, small pine, Japanese maple. You can also adjust the tree by changing the values of the branches, the distribution of them. You can randomize this distribution too. 
and you can change the overall shape of the tree. You can also add leaves and further adjust those leaves with multiple settings like the shape value and the leaves number. You also change things like your branch radius and your branch splits. This add-on is really great especially when, when you want to create really quick trees for your scenes. And landscape. This add-on gives you the ability to create procedural terrains. It offers a lot of presets like canyons, mountains, cliffs, lakes, rivers, rocks, and so much more. You can also adjust your mesh, like for example the scale and noise, the size, the height and the offset, and a lot of other properties. This add-on is great as a startup when creating a large-scale nature scene, for example. Bolt Factory Like the name suggests, this add-on gives you the ability to add a bolt to Blender. This add-on has a lot of settings, like you can adjust the bit type, also you can add nuts, and of course you can change the shape of your bolt by increasing or decreasing the values, the values in the add-on settings. Like the overall length, the bit depth, the head height, and so much more. This add-on is great if you need to add a bolt to your scene or model in no time. Edit Mesh Tools Like loop tools, this add-on works in Blender Edit Mode. It offers operations to facilitate some modeling processes like randomizing vertices, offsetting edges, and setting an edge length, and so much more. You can explore and play with the setting. I think you will probably find something that you will use when modeling in Blender. F2 F2 is another edit mode add-on that gives you the ability to create quads with one click. You can select one vertices and press F in the area you want the face to be and the quad will be generated. This add-on is really useful when you have too many faces to fill Using this add-on, that process will take no time. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comments below which Blender add-on you like the most and why. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.